the character selection is what I'm interested in the most, right? Yeah. Akira and Laura. When we talk about Laura, we talk about one man primarily. I think his name is Idom for I domination. Right. I, mean, <laughs> I, I think the biggest thing is I want to see how other players pilot this character now in the current state. So that's why I'm extra excited to see it because we've seen the state of Laura for years, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen how this character has been played for a while, at least in the states. But I want to see how the rest of the world takes Laura because I feel like there's been a lot of a lot of the other countries that are just like you know Laura's she's all right. Yeah. They kind of downplay her a little bit. On the other hand, Akira has been seeing uh, a huge rise of uh, popularity and usage overall. Yeah. I think it, in in the world, actually, because of the fact that she has a, a very solid V trigger with V trigger two. Yes. Yeah, and it's it's actually going to be uh, exciting to see. And I want to hear what Bills has to say about Bells has to say about this match because uh, they obviously have some words for Captain no I, uh, and well, Captain Y. And Captain Y has improved so much recently this season. He won the last C tournament and he beat my sensei Shan. So to qualify for top sixteen, word. so that's who sent Shan. Oh, that's, so, that's actually super hype. So you know. That's that's no small feat. That is one of the best players to ever touch the sticks for Street Fighter. So I have to do my best in this matchup. That makes sense because going in and knowing the weight of that victory beforehand, got to put some pressure on the plate. Man, I wish I could have seen... I know Sien uh, broadcasts his run every single time or every single mm -hmm. tournament that he's a part of. I would love to see that kind of replay and what yeah. happened between the Akira versus Seth. But that's, uh, that's a lot to really take in. Now it's got me even more excited to see how this Akira is going to play out with Captain Y. And Bells, that's a lot on his plate too. It's like, yeah, yeah. that's the guy that kind of like uh, beat the guy that's trained me and taught me how to play. Oh, yeah. But I, I feel like with Laura, there's a lot of mixes that uh, Akira may not be able to handle. But she's got the she's got the complete kit, right? She has a three framer. She has an uppercut. She has really consistent yeah. damage, and she has a really obnoxious way of getting in. Yeah. She's the new Urian to me, right? I'm oh. gonna say it this way <laughs> strictly because she has a a very easy get in tool with ex elbow. Yep. Right, and it's unpunishable. It's minus two. You could also cancel it into V trigger. Yeah, so having that, you know, oops, I, w I can't believe it's not neutral button is yeah. uh, one of the best things that you can utilize. And, you know, Laura doesn't have that traditional reversal, has to opt to use that uh, V trigger meter to escape. Oh, and interesting. So Captain Y is actually going with trigger one. Yeah, not using the V trigger two that we were talking about previously before the match started. So I'm going to be excited to see how this uh, shakes up because normally we do see the V trigger two on the Akira. Yeah, so we're going to get the Mixed Master with Daigo, with the Daigo Assist coming in from v Trigger 1. Bells, on the other hand, pretty standard. Yep. V-Set, right? Trigger and skill one. Yeah, like nice. Clap. EX Thunder Pop, and you're stuck in the corner of Spring Real Estate. These throw techs have been so consistent on the side of Captain Y in the beginning of this match, but you still are not out of dodge. You need to get the Screen Real Estate back. Great check. There's been a lot of heavy normals being thrown out, kind of anticipating the counter poke game from both players. So there's a little bit of reluctance to kind of close the gap on foot, right? Nice, They're yeah. primarily doing it to catch normals. There we go. We talked about some of the light normals that Akira has. Big Brother coming in for the assist, plus frames. Out of here, still has to block and hold that. That's one of the dangers of using V Reversal yep. against uh, Daigo because he has a follow-up as well. You're dead. Sunset Wheel installed. Yeah, going with Sunset City, and that was actually... I, yeah, the first time that option was represented, and it did connect because before it was meaty after meaty, and all the throws have been tech, so Captain New I, and Captain Y getting scooped up, and uh, that's the Laura play that we do expect. But And oh. I like the check from Bells immediately, by the way. After the fourth throw, after oh, no. she can dash up, but it's not her turn afterwards. Yeah. Oh, boy. Speaking of dash ups, what a check there from Bells. Empty jump low, the classic mix. You yeah. mean to tell me there's no cross-ups in the corner? Well, guess what? Oh. I got empty jump low. And the Shimmy Hendrix right there gonna be huge. Has the full extension air series Ooh. right here. Nice. Hitting it with a left-handed lick in the corner. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my he was god. still caught in the air! That was so good. I thought that was gonna be a cross though. Yeah, I thought it was too, but I think uh Bells did not know what to expect. And Captain Y, you know, maybe in the school. She had oh! Yes, that's what I like to see. So I told you, she's the complete package. She has also the uppercut set that most of the Shotos have. She has that roundhouse uppercut to get past the Thunderclap, and it pushes her so far forward. Too. Yeah, the horizontal range that you get from that that uppercut is so valuable, good. especially, you know, a lot of great characters in this game have a way to circumvent the fi fireball game. Ooh, That's what you love to see. You know? Oh, no, and the corner floor is available. You might actually just be dead here. Should be enough damage for Captain Y to get this first game. Daigo's got on my side. Big Brother, help me out. 
Oh, not enough just yet. That was so interesting. Yeah, he's had only like three hits prior. You still get an opportunity to strike afterwards. Captain Y taking advantage of that situation. Bell is just unfamiliar with that follow-up afterwards from the critical art. So that's just a little bit of unfamiliarity we saw. Yeah. And but it's very minute, too. It's one of those things where you had to play against his character a good amount of time to so understand, like, all right, well, I can't really check in these instances, right? Yeah, and that's what's difficult, too, because, you know, while we are seeing Akira on the rise, you, you're not going to have the most matchup experience here, and I don't no, know how yeah. much Captain Y and Bells have played, but in these weird kind of matchups, that's not your, like, typical, you know, Luke, Seth, Cammy, Dalsum, uh... You gotta figure it out on the fly, and right now, flying high, Captain Y, with this pressure, is just starting to overwhelm Ooh, Bell's big crush. Yes. So, he tried to get sneaky, Ooh. he tried to steal some plus frames there with the elbow, right? He yep. tried to do it meaty, but that's not a that's not a real thing. <laughs> that's actually not a real thing, after the back throw. Yeah, I got called out for the fake stuff. Had he done like a lighter one? I think like a medium one, probably, but yeah. I'd, have to, I'd have to double check that. Either way, Bell's ready for it, and the crouching heavy punch has to counter it. But no follow through again! Oh, Catches yeah. the thunderclap, look at the mix afterwards. He just dashed forward, what a genius. Yeah, that was so clean, you know, figuring out a way to escape. Daigo, and again, the shimmies have been so consistent from Captain Y. One touch situation in the corner here, goes to the overhead. You know, good challenge knowing that it's not plus, so time to party. V-Trigger is activated. One mistake, Ooh. thunderclap is there. Oh, no. Oh, he was trying to catch the thunderclap. Yep. Nice. Oh, gets locked down. But no, Kahoon, you have to finish it off there, but it doesn't matter. Too afraid of the thunderclap. Gets taken to Sunset City one more time. Trying to even this up on the side of Bells. Looking good so far. I wonder if there was enough space for Captain Y to contest with maybe a low normal in between the thunderclaps. No chance for a whiff punish. Yeah. Oh, Same side yep. and the Sunset wheel. One more sequence could actually possibly, possibly be good a stun. All right, not anymore. Yeah, and Captain, oh yeah, the great anti-air. Captain Y has not been afraid to challenge, not bashful at all in this situation. Good block on the mix so far, but not this time. Oh my goodness. Oh, he jumped the combo. He doesn't get the corner carry, as well as a ton of damage, because there's not a lot of scaling involved after that Daigo. The second hit of Daigo, I should say. Oh, oh you're yep, yep, it's yep. All, it's all falling apart. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of antsy decision making coming in from Y. I think it all came about from that drop from V skill. Yeah, I mean, when you lose that composure after such a critical combo, because getting that corner position as Akira is going to be like key to locking down Laura. She can't really escape without, you know, spending that V reversal. Yeah. And, you know, Bell smelt blood in the water. And that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. It's like your opponent makes a mistake, all momentum is mine now. I'm not slowing down. As you should have really. Oh no, goes for the tick throw once again. Locked down, yep, elbow. And a challenging on the side of Captain Y, loving it. Captain Y still not contesting. I feel like he's still yeah. within range to uppercut or even sweep. There, there it, it is. is. Again, no follow up with the standing light kick. You could buffer that. Yep. You could most definitely buffer that. Again. Yes. Yes, Captain Y, you got the earpiece for him right now? Absolutely loving it. There it is, exactly what you said before. Contesting on the Thunderclap with a low normal and getting oh, straight that through. Was that's so huge. smart. So Bell's actually countered that fireball the first time, but it was a lighter, Ooh. a lighter variation. Captain Y throwing out the heavier version. There is a significant gap, so Bell's actually getting punished for his own counter. That is great now. Again, Captain making a huge rebuttal after that, that big fatal mistake from the last round. Yeah, and the biggest thing about that too is Captain Y still has all resources, Ooh. full critical art on deck, and you know, if you might drop this the first time, I'm gonna get it the next time. It was actually just a uh, way to make you feel a little more comfortable than you should have felt. Oh, tried to EX uh, through. How, yeah, yeah, that doesn't work out. But Bell's, you know, him getting out of the corner this way just gives him another shot at, at getting the mix against Captain Y. See, we talk a lot about Akira. We haven't really talked about Laura, given the fact that most of the strategy has been approach with them. Like, yes, you can duck after the third kick. Bell's definitely knowing that part of the matchup, but nothing on Meaty, right? Like, he hasn't been able to stuff Captain Y effectively. Yeah, it doesn't have the um, consistent Meaty setup and just keeps getting caught by those jabs right now. Big Brother is on the way. Jumps back and it just avoids Daigo completely. Out of there. Going oh. for the Thunderclap again. Actually very fortunate to get a hit, Ooh. but no, sir. Yeah, check this time. One more interaction. Bell's trying to escape. You can't do jab. that. It's not real. And final game, final round for these two. Final who's going to move on to top eight? Not going to be playing anymore today. And who's going to have to fight it out in the loser's bracket? Oh, my God. That was a counter hit? That's hella damage. Ooh. Oh, you're actually going to die. Yeah, talking about hella damage. One more mistake. One more throw. Stun is definitely a factor. And again, the okay. challenge. No consistent Oki. No consistent meaty is the problem right here. And you can't. Escape. Oh, you did escape. Yeah, that was crazy. You can't time it a certain 
like a certain way, and the positioning of it was was great for Bells. Those are some of the specifics you have to know, and he, he knew it. I will I will take it back. He didn't know like the harder specifics of the yeah. Ocular matchup. One touch away to make it into top eight. Does Captain Y have anything to say about it? No, it's gonna be stuffed by the light kick. Bells did not have to take any sort of risks against the captain. He is the captain now, moving on into top eight. I am the captain now. And moving on, actually convincing at the end. And, you know, Captain had to, you know, the will to keep moving forward. And Laura just has so many options to check. Can't really go to this guy because Captain had already showed consistent anti-airs. That standing short is just comes out so fast, catches any dash. And uh, even though we did not have the meaties on deck, uh, sometimes you don't need all the meaties in the world to uh, move <laughs> forward. I mean, yeah, because almost every single time after, um, after the dash forward got punished by the jabs, but still went for the setup maybe uh just didn't get the timing appropriately but at the end of the day didn't end up mattering imagine not looking forward to the entree and just focusing on the sides and still being like still being satisfied that's pretty good man yeah i don't need that prime steak <laughs> i've got don't. i've got those mashed potatoes hit different yeah man mac and cheese Ooh, Ooh yeah that's what i'm talking about a good plate of mac gets the job done and yeah. the mac attack was definitely what we got to witness oh right yeah 100 percent. right he didn't let anything overcook in the oven in the mental game right he still managed to play his game correctly despite not having like the meaty situations his mixes were there he still applied pressure very well in neutral 